Do you want to know how much money it's going to take you to max your account in Brawl Stars or how long it's going to take you, whether you're a light spender, a big spender, or even a free-to-play player? I'm going to tell you exactly that. Let's get into it. Now, if you want to max your account in Brawl Stars, you also have to know what star powers are most important to get first. So I tell you exactly that in yesterday's video. I'll put a link to that in the description and at the end of the video. Now, there's a couple things you have to know before I can tell you exactly how long it's going to take you to max your account. The first thing is the best way to buy gems. Of course, there are the gem packs. And also, for the intents and purposes of this video, all the currency values will be in US dollars. Now, there are those gem packs, and the more expensive they get the better they are in efficiency as in you get more gems per your dollar there's also some experience packs you can buy which you can unlock after you get to experience level 5 15 25 and 35 and each of those provide a certain amount of mega boxes and a certain amount of gems now those experience packs are going to be your best bang for your buck the most amount of gems per your dollar the most amount of gem value per your dollar compared to all the other things in brawl stars and the level 5 pack is going to be the the most efficient for your gems per your dollar and it's going to decrease as you go up the packs but each of those packs is still going to be the best way to spend your money now you also have to know the best way to spend your gems there's very different ways you can spend your gems you can buy things in the shop like token doublers mega boxes big boxes tickets on weekends when special events are out you can buy coins even and there's also various special offers that appear throughout the week start the days now as far as the most efficient use of your gems it's going to depend on how good you are at ticketed events if you are pretty good at ticket events and when i say that i mean you're pretty good at robo rubble because that's the only event that's actually really valuable as far as how many tokens you can get per ticket if you're getting at least 27 tokens per ticket in robo rumble then the 60 ticket roll is going to be the best value for your gems now if you're even better than that say you're averaging at least like 30 tickets 30 tokens per ticket then it's going to be by far the best value for your gem but let's say you're not very good at robo rumble then it's going to be the token doubler and as far as efficiency goes the token doubler is going to get you about 20 tokens per gem comparing that to the ticket rolls if you're getting 30 tokens per ticket for the 60 ticket roll you're going to get about 22.5 tokens per gem which is pretty good now in order to make the 20 ticket roll worth it you have to at least get 30 tokens per ticket otherwise it's going to be less value than the token doubler another thing to note is those ticket rolls only appear once per week they appear during the ticketed events when they are available in game and you can only buy those ticket rolls each one once per week now as far as the mega boxes those are going to be 12.5 tokens per gem so they're definitely not efficient as part as far as spending your gems but they are instant progress comparing that to buying coins in shop they're about as efficient as mega boxes but you don't have any chance of things like brawlers or star powers now as far as the special offers in shop i'm going to tell you it's definitely going to vary a little bit depending on what it is any special offers relating to tickets relating to tokens those are definitely going to be the most value in the game there's a two mega box or sorry a two big box offer that is going to be more worth it than say buying a token double but if you're getting to the three big box offer that's not going to be quite as valuable as far as buying brawlers in shop i'm going to say go ahead and do not do it unless you really want that instant progress it's not going to be nearly as valuable as even buying like big boxes with those gems but it is going to be getting that instant satisfaction i guess also as far as buying that 60 gem mega box offer that's still which does appear decent amount in the shop that's still going to be not as valuable as buying a token doubler but if you're someone who do want that instant progress that is going to be the best and quickest way to get that instant progress all right now we got that out of the way let's go over how long it's actually going to take you to max your account now, as far as how many boxes it takes you to max your account well i went in the developer build for brawl stars and i figured out exactly how many boxes it took me to max my account i did this twice and on average it took me about 3222 boxes now this can definitely vary depending on your luck as far as when you're getting that last legendary and how long it's taking you to get those star packs hours that can definitely change it by a small amount maybe minus a few hundred boxes or plus a few hundred boxes but for the most part it's going to be 
around 3,200 boxes to max your account. Now, really briefly, I'm gonna go over the math that took me to get the answer for how long it takes to max your account. If you don't care about that at all, just skip ahead like 30 seconds a minute. So what I had to do was take the total boxes it takes to max your account. And I had to subtract all the free, th all the free things you got, and then you can figure out how long it takes to max your account based on how many tokens you're getting per day. So we had to subtract all the free tickets we got and turning those into boxes, which is about a thousand tickets, a little bit more, which is how many you get for maxing your account. And you also get a little over a thousand gems for opening all of those boxes, about 1200 gems to convert those into boxes and subtract both of those from the total amount it takes. And then you got to subtract the tokens you earn from ranking up all your brawlers, whether it's through Trophy Road or through earning them uh, the, to the tokens you get from getting different ranks. So for this example, we took this account to around 5,000 trophies, and this is going to factor in as far as our season reset, how many tokens we're getting per season reset, as well as, you know, the stuff we earned from the trophy road. But even if you're getting really far ahead in the trophy road, it's not going to make a huge difference in how long it takes you to max your account. And then we had to figure out how many tokens we could earn per day. And we're going to do two examples, someone who is a really active player getting every possible token per day, and someone who's maybe a little more typical with just getting a about half the amount per day. So you had to factor in things like the season reset, the amount of tokens you can get just per day by playing the events, getting the star tokens per day, getting the tokens from just like opening the events per day, those 10 tokens every time you open an event, and the free items in the shop. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's go over exactly how long it's gonna take you to max your account. Now this is gonna vary depending on your spending style and of course your playing style. You can go for like max efficiency, spending the least amount as possible, it's still trying to max your account in a good amount of time or you can go for just like quickest amount possible or it might depend on if you're really good at ticketed events or not now if you want to max your account basically instantly just buying mega boxes which is not definitely an efficient way of maxing your account but it is the quickest way it's going to take you about twelve thousand dollars in order to do so now you still have to get your account to three thousand trophies in order to unlock all the brawlers and then get the power points and star powers and coins to upgrade those brawlers to max but that is gonna be the quickest way to max your account and honestly comparing that to a lot of other games especially supercell games twelve thousand dollars in the quickest possible way to max your account is actually pretty cheap a lot of these games cost like ten thousand dollars to max your account day one now i know it's gonna slightly increase depending on the more brawlers that go in the game but we're already at 22 brawlers so even if you double it it's still not gonna be crazy expensive compared to some other games oh and this does include using all those gems you get from opening the mega boxes to buy more mega boxes now what about for a completely free to play player someone who's not going to spend anything on the game at all well this is obviously going to vary a lot depending on how much you're playing per day whether you're getting all the tokens possible now, if you are getting all the tokens possible, this is going to take you about 635 days to max your account or a somewhat under two years. So this definitely seems like a good amount of time. Brawl Stars is definitely a very grindy game as far as maxing your account. But what if you're not getting all the tokens per day? What if it's taking you, you're only getting about half the amount per day? Well, then it's gonna take you about 1,050 days to max your account, almost three years. So it definitely takes a good amount of time if you are a free to play player, completely free to play. Now on the other side of the coin, as far as the power scale goes, and here is a bonus tip for you as well, in order to max your account faster, Actually, if you're trying to get all your brawlers leveled up, just level them up to level 7. Get all of them to level 7, and then get specific ones to level 9. At level 7, it only takes about a third of the coins needed to get all your brawlers to level 7. The biggest part is going to be getting them from level 7 to level 9. That's going to be two-thirds of the cost to getting all your brawlers to max level as far as the amount of coins needed. But as far as the power level, as far as how much damage you're doing and how much health you have, you can get really good value just getting all of them to level seven and then selecting specific ones to get to level nine. That way you're always making sure you're able to get those star powers in boxes. All right, so now you're gonna see how long it's gonna take you to max your account depending on your play style and depending on your spend style. Let's first go over the maximum speed, but not counting mega boxes. So this 
is going to be someone who's buying token doublers and buying the 60 ticket roll and the 20 ticket roll every week. You're going to be buying both of the ticket rolls and you're going to be buying about four token doublers per week, a little bit under. Also keep in mind with all of these examples, you're going to be want to be buying all those experience packs first and then buying the $100 packs as that is, those are going to be the most efficient use of your money for your gems. Now, if you were doing that, buying the token rolls and the token doublers per week, it's going to take you about $387 to max your account. And it's going to take you about 200 days in order to do so. So you can actually max your account in almost almost half a year for about $400, a little bit less. And you're gonna see in the chart how long it's gonna take you to max your account, depending on how much money you're spending with this sort of play and spending style. And I don't think I mentioned this, this is also gonna be for someone who's getting the maximum amount of tokens per day as well. Now let's say you're willing to spend some money, but you're not like super active. You're not getting all the tokens per day. So in this example, we're gonna say you're buying the token doublers per week and the 60 ticket rolls. You're not buying the 20 ticket rolls, because you're probably not super great at Robo Rumble, so it's not gonna be worth it for you value-wise. In this case, it's gonna cost you about $437 to max your account, and it's gonna take you about 350 days to do so, almost a year. I would say that's like the maximum speed for a somewhat inconsistent player as far as how often they're playing. Now, what if you're just completely not very good at ticketed events? If you're not very good at ticketed events, you're just playing with randoms, you're not really doing Robo Rumble with a team, then I'm gonna recommend you only buy, for the most, part those token doublers now this is going to slow you down but it's also going to be a good amount cheaper to max your account now again how long it's going to take you to max your account is definitely going to vary a good amount depending on how much you're playing but let's say you're getting all of the tokens per day then it's going to cost you about 187 dollars just buying token doublers and it's going to take you about 415 days to max your account but let's say you're only getting about half of the tokens per day well it's going to be a little bit cheaper but it's going to take you a lot longer it's going to cost you about 150 $57, but it's going to take you about 700 days, almost two years in order to max your account. Now, if you remember earlier, I was saying if you're good at the ticket events, it's going to be the best value for your gem. So let's pretend you are good at ticket events. You're getting about 30 tokens per ticket and you are going to be buying all tickets per week and you're not going to be spending money on token doublers. In this case, pretending you're buying 80 tickets a week, it's going to cost you about $237 to max your account and it's going to take you a little bit under a year in order to do so. Now, let's say you're buying 60 tickets per week. It's going to be a little bit cheaper, $187, but it's going to take you about another 50 days in order to do so. So to sum it up, if you want the cheapest way to max your account and you're not good at ticket events, buy only token doublers. And if you are good at ticket events and you want the cheapest way to max your account, go and buy only ticket rolls. Now, if you want the quickest way to max your account without buying mega boxes, you want to buy about three to four token doublers per week and buy the 60 ticket roll and the 20 ticket roll per week. I'm also going to recommend you screenshot some of those charts I showed that show how long it's going to take you to max your account depending on how much you spend, depending on the play style. So you can sort of figure out what sort of play style you want to do and how much money you want to spend and where you want to spend it. Also, of course, none of this includes spending money on skins like the $30 Phoenix Crow skin. Doing stuff like that is definitely going to increase how much money you're spending on Brawl Stars. Now, make sure to max your account correctly by getting the most important star powers first, which I go over right over there in that video. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you later.